How's it everybody? This is Lois Ann Yamanaka and you're watching Poets House Presents. I'll be reading from my first collection and only poetry collection called Saturday Night at the Pahala Theater. When I started writing poetry, Eric Chalk, who is a mentor of mine, told me that I had to continue writing in Pidgin or Hawaii Creole English because he said it's free therapy. <laughs> and I really needed therapy. So, I'm gonna start by reading Girly, Monday After School. You know what? Boy went beef with Keone about a county poo, and you know what he did? He wouldn't say, come on, Keone, come on, you fucker, right here. Then, boy went take off his shirt and fly him on the fence. Dad, he wouldn't take off his pants. On a joke, you. He wouldn't beef with Keone, bare balls. After that, I would tell a boy, hey, cool hey, boo, why you didn't take off your pants? Everybody was laughing, all the cheerleaders and JV players, boo. And boy, when tell me, oh man. Cause that's how my father fight my uncle them when they all drunk. They don't like their clothes come red, so they fight bare balls. I don't joke you. No babies and all my father them. Oh, and after that, I would treat boy hot dog and large slush at Country Mart cause he never have no money. I'd run away home. I don't could stop thinking, how boy could I beef on naked? Oh, sucking guy, I wouldn't tell him. On a girl seeing your grapes. Chicken pox. My sister, she the best. She wouldn't catch chicken pox last week first. She had them only on her underarm. Every time I went in the living room, she stayed suffering on the vinyl couch with her hands behind her head and her chicken pox on the arms all showing. My mother tell her she no can scratch, otherwise she gonna get scar. Itchy, I tell her. Then I scratch my underarm for real kind. Cause I know when you scratch your underarm and they come more itchy. I know. Then the underarm chicken went away. But guess what? She didn't catch chicken pox on the rest of her body. Ha, oh, boss laugh every time I go in the living room because they all over her body, even on her scalp. <laughs> I tell her. Then my other sister went catch chicken pox first. It was only in her mouth. And she no could talk. And she no could eat. So I make one big bowl her favorite ice cream, mint chocolate chip. And I eat them right in front of her face, even if that's my worst ice cream. Her, she only cry cause itchy and she no could scratch inside her mouth. Then when the mouth chicken pox went away, she got them on the rest of her body. She stayed lying on the same vinyl couch the other sister was on, all itchy and hot. I walk by her and I scratch my ass by her face all out kind. Where you fuck she tell me? Oh no mommy Go go tell mommy I scratch mommy's ass too She cried cause she hot and itchy and she gonna get lickings if she scratch But guess what? Yeah I won't catch chicken pox too but guess where I got them? I had them only in my chocho. I'm not lying. For real. Shit. I was lying on the same vinyl couch for one week with my legs spread so the thing healed more fast. My sisters come in the living room and they scratch the chocho full on, all out, kind and laugh. Itchy, they tell me. Then scratch. Dead dogs. R.I.P. 
My sister stay in the back of the garage digging a grave for her egg stealing all hot worms coughing and stink breath dog. Wiki went bite my friend Claude on his ass cause he said fuck in our house. My sister told him, don't say F word around Wiki, but Claude starts screaming, fuck, 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 my sister's face for fun. And Wiki went rush his ass for real. But now, Wiki dead. My sister come in the house and she went, crap, crap, oh, Wiki, Wiki, why you in die? Mama had to slap her face a couple times so she snapped out of it. Me, I went outside for check out Wiki's grave. Had plumerias on top of the dirt and red anturium from my father's patch and some bagasse sprinkle on top of the grave. She put one cross made from guava branch and rope and she plant on kumquat tree. My father went plant in the big cafeteria bean can. And on the wall of the garage, my sister went right, Wiki, R.I.P. With the Kiavi Chako from a smoke house. My sister comes stand by me next to the grave. Me, I have terrible looks at. But really, I hate Wiki. Every time my sister just won't make me mad, she go whisper secrets uh, in her dog's ear. Like the talking stink about me. She tell, Wiki, in her head. She's so <laughs> And then she make Wiki nod her head like, I know, I know. Then she laugh loud and she carry Wiki to her bed for put her under the pillow by her feet and feed her mint chocolate chip ice cream from the same spoon, dog spit and all. That's why I hate her. But now, I don't say nothing. Oh, I just bow my head and I act like a prey for Wiki. Pretty soon, my sister pick up the kiave and write on the wall. Suki, daughter of Wiki, hit by car. Mana, fall from truck. Internal, bleed. Buffy, suicide. Clifton, poisoned by Federico. Pepe, big red dick, gave him away. Miri, stolen at Kai store. Libby, dead on steps. Chewy, daughter of Libby, kidnapped by Puerto Ricans. Chico, don't know. Happy, don't know. Happy Junior, don't know. DB, smash. And she write again, Wiki, RIP. She put her face in her hands, all chuckle, all over. And her whole body shape, soft kind. Lickens. I never liked when she hit me with the iron hanger because it was so more so than the wooden one. So when she told my sister, go get the hanger, I always hope she bring the wooden one. In fact, I would hope she wouldn't bring the hanger, the one I went put crochet on top in Mr. Cutter's class for Mother's Day because it was soft. I didn't try for me all the iron hangers crochet, but I didn't run out of yarn. I never had money for buy no more. Sometimes my sister pissed off at me, so she bring the iron one. But I figure I better cover my ass and don't worry about what kind of hanger she brought. Then my mother would say, move your arm, move your arm. But I couldn't think fast, which was more sore, lickings on the arm or lickings on the ass. So my mother hit my arm because I covering my ass. Lickings on the arm is more sore than lickings on the ass. My mother, she tell my sister, Go get the iron hanger. Then I know my mother real mad when she tell my sister, go get the wooden hanger. Then I know she ain't that mad. Stupid sister. Every time my mother tell her go get something for lick me with, she run. I guess she never like get lickings too. Oh boy, one time my small sister, she said fat, which we not could say because the word we had to use was put. And she got lickings with a green brush, which was more sore than the fight swatter, but both was less sore than the iron hanger. My small sister, every time she get lickings, cause she do dumb things in public. My mother catch her looking under the dummy's dress in Edith's dress shop downtown Hilo side. So my mother went grab her and ask her, what you doing? And my sister said, mommy, this lady no more panty. And guess what? 
my sister got lickings when we went in the car because you cannot make shame in public. Not tell nobody. But my small sister went show her ching ching to one boy. She didn't get lickings with the golf club. I don't know who went tell my mama. I figure it was the sister that always run go get the hanger. Oh, must have been so long. The lickings with the golf club. But I don't know, because I never do nothing that bad yet. Thank you, Poets House, for giving me this opportunity. I'm so honored to be a part of your series. Poet House means to me a place where I can say what I want uncensored. And, and you know, in these times in publishing, everybody is so, so PC. But I'm so honored and glad that I can follow the three rules I started when I um, began writing. And one was, I will never censor myself again. The second one is, I will never let someone else censor me. And the third one is, I will give back as generously to the gift as the gift has been given to me. So you guys, let me fulfill my kudos, man. So I'm gonna say a hui ho now. A hui ho is Native Hawaiian, and they don't have a word for goodbye. But I'm not Native Hawaiian now, I'm Japanese American, and I'm not pretending to be an indigenous Native Hawaiian person by using Hawaiian, because that's not cool, right? And I am indigenous Ainu. So I am an indigenous person. The Native Hawaiians say ahui ho. That's their word upon leaving the house or other people. There's no word for goodbye, because ahui ho means until we meet again. And in this time of fear, in this time of challenges, ahui ho everybody, until we meet again, mahalo. If you've enjoyed these programs, please consider giving a contribution to Poets House. For more than 30 years, they've kept the door wide open to everyone for the joy of poetry. Recently, they have temporarily had to shut the door and are reeling from the financial implications. Please give even a small donation if you can. Thank you.